When I was planning my trip to Armenia, I had no idea I would discover one of the most unique and overlooked cultural aspects that foster creativity. I'm not talking about Armenian carpet weaving, dancing kochari, or playing the duduk. And if you think it's backgammon or chess, you're wrong again. No, unlike everything I just mentioned, what I discovered here is something that I'm actually half decent at. And that's the craft of khachkar making. Khachkar literally translates to cross stone, and that's exactly what it is. They are fantastic masterworks of art engraved in doof, which is a volcanic stone that Armenia is famous for. Khachkar carving has been in Armenian culture for centuries, with the earliest known dating back to 879 AD. This craft helped me expand my creativity. Coming from an engineering background, I didn't always pay attention to the artistic side of life. And unlike 3D modeling, carving pushed me to visualize what needed to happen from the top down. So how did I stumble into this craft? I literally just asked for it. Coming to Birthright, I knew I would have a lot of opportunities available to me. So along with furthering my career, I wanted to try something completely different. Initially, I thought about farming, but then it dawned on me. There'd be no better place in the world to try this than here. So to supplement my volunteer work, I started carving with a group of guys every Wednesday on the side of Arami Street. My first step was getting used to the hammer and chisel. I began by trying to mimic the guys, but what initially seemed to be careless blows of the hammer were actually methodically planned strikes. And I soon learned that if I hit the rock too eagerly, I could very easily destroy that which I was putting so much time and effort into creating. So now, when you begin working with Doof and you start carving khachkar, it quickly becomes part of your life. Whether you like it or not, you begin to eat, sleep, and breathe in doof. Literally, the dust is everywhere. I would have chunks fly in my mouth, fill my nostrils, and shower my hair. I would have doof car dust in places doof car dust should not be, but it was all worth it because I loved the satisfaction I would feel when I would see the fruits of my labor. And these are some of the things that I've accomplished while carving on Wednesdays. So I was typically carving my own small pieces until one day the Varbed, which means master in Armenian, came up to me and said, Sako, why don't you help us with this piece that we're working on? And this was it. This was my moment. Suddenly, I felt all of the pressure because if I made a mistake, I could in fact wreck the whole thing. At first, I didn't even know if I was ready, but then I realized he wouldn't even have asked me if he didn't trust me. So with some hesitation, I jumped in the deep end and turns out I could swim. He made me work on parts that repeated, getting my hands used to the motion. I helped them through every process until completion which is when I realized why he was truly the Varbed. When we raised the rock, I noticed that every groove was planned for lighting from above to cast shadows below. And then he just stepped back and analyzed it, not just for how it looked, but how it felt, the emotion. And this is when I understood that having a skill and mastering a craft are two different things because he would often suggest changes to pieces I already thought were perfect. And here are some of the real pieces that I helped them create during my time with them. Coming to Armenia was an experience like no other. And this is what I truly discovered, that having a skill isn't enough to master a craft. It takes patience and passion in order to create warm art out of cold stone. 
I realized that sometimes the toughest materials in life need the gentlest touches to flourish, just like the human soul. And it's easier to lose our identity than to keep it, because preserving our identity demands hard work, endless commitment, and an egoless attitude, just like the craft of Khachkar carving. Thank you.